Hi everyone, so welcome back, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Chloe and I am a creator, writer and a musician. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing episode 2 of my SBS video series. Basically where I'm just kind of giving you an insight as to what um, SBS, like what it, what it is. Like we've already met the majority of the characters, so we've met Emily and her family, we've met the band, as in Scarlet and Rift Skies, and then we've met the URMC uh, store workers, which, if you haven't seen the last episode, basically stands for Upfield Ridge Music Centre, and if you also haven't watched the first episode yet, it would probably be a better idea to watch that first, so that will be linked up in the cards for you to go and check. Out. Today, as you can tell by the title of this video, episode 2 is going to be a look into the Breed family house. Emily's family are very, like the majority of the family are athletic, um, which basically means her parents and Landon are really athletic people. However, Payne and Daria, Emily's parents, used to be athletic, like they used to be like actual sports people, like athletes, and now they are sports lawyers. So because of their, their the Reed family is quite wealthy and it is quite, I would say it's definitely like the upper class, like first class. Their house, I hope, resembles that. I'm not the best with interior design on The Sims, I'm still trying to get a lot better at that. Because of that, you know, they're wealthy, they have a big house, they have a big garden, and they basically live, uh, well, in Upfield Ridge, obviously, but they live on the outskirts of a forest, like, away from the rest of the city. They are pretty closed off from the rest of the world. And now that I've gotten that out of the way, we can jump into the house tour, I guess you could say. Let's go. So now I have turned to my computer. If you didn't know, yes, I have gotten a new like computer and a new setup. I pretty much paid for the majority of this with my own money that I had saved from over time. And I am in live mode, I just have it paused and we're gonna use it from that way. And as you can see, this is what the outside of the house looks like. No, like I said, I am not the great with design on The Sims, but you can kind of get the vibe of like what I've kind of done. There are two sets of steps here and like here and here. So this is actually the main door. This door here is the front door. This door here is the one that leads into the garage. So this is what like the front of the house looks like. I mean on here. This is definitely not what I envisioned because obviously they are quite wealthy. They wouldn't need this privacy hedge because I don't really envision that. What I do envision though is like a big driveway in front of the garage and the front door um, and maybe even like a little like frame around the door like damn I did envision that but I didn't think to put it in for some reason and then they do like have a lot of trees around their house um, it's currently spring at the moment on this so the trees aren't actually uh, they don't actually have any leaves and then the back of the house basically looks the same. It's got like a few parts. I have no clue what happened to the roof there. This is just what the back of the house looks like. It's pretty basic. It's basically what you would find. I was saying about the garage doors and like smaller steps. This area here is the garage and it's basically just like a storage space for the whole family and it's <laughs> it's pretty big, I have to admit. And then, obviously, the Sims don't actually have like a drum kit that you can put in. Because Emily is a drummer, there would be a drum kit in there, like in real life. 
so that's what this space at the back here would be then <laughs> the house actually opens up to the front door actually leads straight into like the kitchen and the dining area so as you can see it's a pretty spacious kitchen that they have we've got the dining table in the middle of the kitchen then just got all the kitchen counters all around the side and then if i was to put the walls up they also have cabinets up on the top here around like above the countertops or worktops i am british not american and so that's what their kitchen looks like and then there's literally just a piano here for decoration behind the kitchen we've got a little i say little it's quite a big space and all it is it's is basically like a study area so there's a desk back here that i think that's emily yeah that's emily and there's like a desk area back here then there's like a cork board, cork board next to it then there's a bookshelf then there's a few gym stuff in there as well and basically anything you can think of that you would find in the study and then this big area here is literally just a hallway there's then a bathroom back here which I guess you can't really see let's zoom in a bit uh, so that's like a small bathroom and that kind of it's like a weird like L sort of shape but not really because I was wondering where the toilet was then I was wondering why there was a wall here that's where the toilet is then next to the bathroom as you can see like from the kitchen there is then a little room here which there isn't like a doorway into from the kitchen because the doorway comes from the living room this is just the living room like this area here where there's like it's pretty basic and there and then I've just got like a few pop -up a few pots of colour. I've got the blue sofas here and then the pink rug and the doorway to the living room is here as you can see and then that just leads into the laundry slash utility room which is this this room here. Back here there's just a doorway into the into the back garden and then just before the garage like kind of in the kitchen still we've then got the stairs like dark stairs as you can see stairs are next to the kitchen and just before the garage and then we're going to go up a level from the stairs we then have everyone's room first room which is a back here so the one that's kind of like green is as you can see it's actually Daria's and Kane's room so the parents room and next to their room is actually the main family bathroom and then next to the main family bathroom we have Kyra's room in pink and yes they all have assigned colours don't ask me why because I don't actually know um, but this is Kyra's room and yes this part here is attached to Kyra's room if I just move back a bit. So this part here is attached to Kyra's room and that is part of it. Um, and she just has like a little desk space, but she's just got a desk space and then a sofa, which I could imagine her and Dylan having sex on because uh, why not? And then from Kyra's room at the back, and that little like attachment this is then emily's room it's actually pretty basic i didn't want to go um to like overboard with the colors in her room um, and i just thought that it would suit her a lot more they all actually do have like wall mounted tvs i don't think i mentioned that but they, they all have wall mounted tvs and then m actually has two uh, what you'd call desks but this one here, so this one here, is actually her vanity, or what I would call her vanity, and then she's just got um, her actual desk here. Yeah, like I said, she's got her desk, sorry, her desk and her vanity separate. If I move this way, we she then has her bedroom, well, she has her bedroom door, to the side here as you can see but she then has her own bathroom so this is where this door 
This door here leads. This is what her bathroom would look like walking in. If I just zoom in a bit more. Um, she's just got her shower to the side here. I definitely wouldn't picture it this small though. Like I definitely would have thought it would be a bit bigger. Oh, why didn't I put in a bath there? Because there was meant to be a bath there I think. I didn't put it there. So I have just done a bit of manoeuvring because she is meant to have like a bathtub in here but she just doesn't really use it that much because I think well, like well yeah, I say this room was meant to be for the parents but they actually had this built from like a plot of land and so walking just before her bathroom she's got like a mirror like a wall mirror here as you can see and then in her bathroom she's just got the shower to the side with a laundry hamper pop of color so she's got a blue rug because her favorite color is blue and she's then got a bathtub um, and then turning around she then has a few like bathroom cabinets she's got her sink here so she's just got a few counters where she like gets ready one last bedroom and that is Landon's. As you can tell, Landon's favourite colour is red. So behind the, behind him, the doorway is actually there. Um, and then as he walks in, he's got his wardrobe to the left. No, it would, but it would be on the right, like walking in. Um, and then a mirror to the left or the right, walking in rather. And then there's just a sofa here. He's then got his bed up against the wall because that's just how I, I picture it in my head when like Emily walks into his room, well not walks in but checks in on him during the book. So his bed is here and then opposite his bed, what have I just done? So nothing to worry about and then opposite his bed you can just see there's like a little rug here which leads to um, a chest of drawers and then above the chest of drawers he's just got his TV because obviously he is an athlete and he likes like running and rugby and all of that but he also does like his gaming because he's a he is he's a teenager he's a guy so obviously he's into his Xbox definitely not a P not a PS guy he's uh, much more of an Xbox guy and that is pretty much the entirety of the house that is the Reed family house. There will definitely be more episodes coming. I can't remember what they are, but there are definitely more coming. If you have enjoyed the series so far and you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up to let me know and maybe even leave a comment down below on what you think about their house. Not the best design. I know I'm working on it. And that is it for this video all of my social media links will be linked down below in the description for you to check out and my Camp NaNoWriMo uh, like page participant page will also be linked down below for you to check out if you so wish to I am now going to sign off thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video